There was speculation earlier this week about whether or not Noosa would choose to attend proceedings today. What are you hearing on the ground? Have you started seeing any of the heavyweights come through? Well, what happened yesterday, of course, uh, I put paid to those uh, um, rumors because um, uh, uh, NUMSA has actually said that it will indeed honor, it will form part of that meeting. Um, they have, in fact, they say they are fully prepared. Um, they will speak to all the five charges um, that have been leveled against them. And they do believe that um, from the, the presentation that um, they have will, in fact, un answer all the questions that will be uh, put to them and they will show that um, the people who want them um, expelled actually do not have a case. And to actually show their commitment um, to this process or to being here today, we are told that they have actually mobilized um, like-minded members um, of uh, NUMSA of course, but also of other unions um, that are with them to come and be here to show their support to the NUMSA leadership as it seeks to state the case for NUMSA. So around nine o'clock we do expect um, those people to be here singing and chanting, showing their support um, to the NUMSA leadership that will appear before that special CEC of Kosatu. Ayana? Vuyo, there was speculation, I remember, at the last CEC that we would uh, get uh, a concrete answer or a decision on that NUMSA issue that didn't happen then. What evidence do we have that we will actually Actually hear something conclusive today. I don't think there are there are guarantees at all because uh, among the uh, things that NUMSA hopes to uh, actually point out is that um, Kosatu itself um, is, has infringed its own constitution by refusing, that was the, the leadership refusing to accede to a member's request that uh, for a special congress. So in other words, um, among their weapons is an argument that they intend to make, which is that two wrongs don't make a right. That's if, of course, uh, NUMSA itself accepts that it is at some in at some level wrong which of course NUMSA um, um, leaders argue that they are not so um, it's it's uh, it's really going to depend on how the game is going to pan out will NUMSA's presentation satisfy um, the central um, executive committee of Kosatu uh, that they shouldn't be expelled and if you take the argument forward the argument that um, it is really a foregone conclusion. In other words, there is a firm and a strong determination on the part of those that want NUMSA expelled to make sure that that happens by hook or by crook. Um, whether, of course, they will, NUMSA will be able to challenge whatever decision, let's say, assuming a decision is negative. I mean, in other words, um, NUMSA is expelled. Um, will that stick? Or will NUMSA still have other avenues to actually challenge that decision? So whatever happens really today, we are not going to see the end of this story, the end of this issue. It's going to continue and it's going to be a very ugly one beyond this point. Because remember what I said earlier, it is not just about the expulsion of NUMSA. It is not about what we are told are the issues right now. This struggle is about the battle for the soul of the African National Congress, which is the governing party, which is omnipresent, which is, uh, I mean, governing the country today. Everyone wants not only a slice of it, but to be able to influence the, 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 the ANC to actually do what NUMSA, especially um, those in the left, um, to actually make sure that the ANC does what Kosatu and uh, um, wants them to do. So this thing is not going to be over, irrespective of the outcome of today's meeting. Well, it's 10 minutes after 8 at the moment. Apart from the usual traffic, we're hearing uh, the hustle and the bustle of the city there, buses driving by, etc. Anything out of the ordinary happening there as we speak? Uh, perhaps have people started to gather? What, what's happening there now? 
Well, at the moment, uh, nothing out of the uh, ordinary. Um, we've seen a few leaders um, walking into um, the building. We expect uh, many of them to uh, arrive around nine o'clock. And, and around that time, of course, we do expect supporters of both uh, groups, those who are pro and those who are against um, um, the expulsion of uh, um, NUMSA to also arrive here to show their support. Um, the meeting itself um, is supposed to start around uh, 10 a.m. But as things stand, everything is ordinary. People are walking um, um, in and out, those who have already arrived here at Kosato House, and um, there is nothing, even security is not really tight, but uh, we are seeing that uh, some kind of provision is being made um, for the fact that there will be um, extra numbers of people uh, milling in and around uh, Kosato, Kosato House. Uh, one hopes, of course, that there will not be a confrontation. That's the only thing, really, that some, peop some of the leaders have said uh, uh, has to be avoided um, at all costs. Ayanda? Vuyo, well, thank you so much for that update. Our contributing editor, Vuyo Vogo, just outside Kasadu House, there are eye on the ground. He'll be giving us a regular updates of the goings on there. Do stay with DSTV Channel 404, SABC News, bringing you the very latest.